All right, we're going to start out in the yard here with uh, the Sony ICF 2001 and its e-probe. And we're hearing UCP on 273 kilohertz. Maybe a little bit better than at your house, Frank, but not a whole lot. Anyway, I can't get too close to the radio with the camera because the camera is trashed of the receiver. But let's give you a quick view of the backyard. There's uh, an EWE antenna over here. Uh, type 75 transformer and goes up the tree 15 feet about 10 feet away over here by the tree I have a uh, common mode choke and a ground rod anyway that EWE goes over this tree over to the southeast here and there's another transformer box on this tree and that's the other side of where the EWE comes down to it. There. There's a little common mud choke right there. And there's an AB switch right inside that plastic. So this one goes northeast and southwest. Now I also have another EWE. You see this coax line. Goes to a common mud choke here. There's a ground rod right there. Another transformer. This guy goes up the tree, goes over this direction. Oh, and by the way, there's a ground wire coming off of that ground rod from over there to the center here. Okay, and then wanders over this way. Uh, what is it? Yeah, there's a piece of wire right there. And that EWE right there comes down through this little fir tree and there's a ground rod here there's a common mode choke there there's an AD switch there there's a coax line going back to the house that's the northwest southeast EWE so these cables all come back under the grass and they meet over here where I have let's see there it is there's a pair of uh, F connector ground block and a ground rod and a second ground rod so that's my halfway point back to the house and that's an important ground that brings a lot of noise down so anyway let's grab the receiver and walk back towards the house it'll get noisier but I don't know if I can I'll try and hold the camera away it will get noisier as I come back towards the house one of the important things is finding the quiet spot in your yard for where to put your antenna. You hear the noise come up and the UCP got weaker. Set this down, open the door. I'm going to shut this off. Run the antenna down. And it's like what? Uh, get a time check here. Alright, I have my HF IF rig on uh, 199 kilohertz right now listening to DIW in North Carolina. Carol uh, it's not Carolina Beach, but it's the other one down North Carolina. And you can see it. There's DIW.
All right, let's tune up the band and see what else we can find. There's a uh, Canadian ZHU. And I'm listening uh, southeast right now. I'm going to switch these ports around. Let's see if I go over here, it should get a little stronger. There we go. This is the, the main ground. I found out I get an extra dB of signal to noise if I ground the shell of the resistor on this otherwise isolated ground setup. Oh, that's an opposing phase common mode choke right here. And this is an isolation transformer that goes uh, 75 to 50 ohms. And that's my 300 kilohertz uh, ninth order filter. And it goes into the double balance mixer uh, converter with uh, 2N5904, uh, 20 dB stage, the Ray 6 uh, mixer, the 3 megahertz OCXO, an LO driver that's not in use right now, and a diplexer output to the 3 megahertz IF. Okay, so this is FD. Oh no, this is ZH, ZHU. That's FD right there. And that's SYS in Somerset, but I'm pointed to the northwest right now, so I'm off the back. I'm going to try and go back to the southeast, see if I can get CLB in the daytime here. Get that there. This over here. That's a pretty good signal. And it's quarter to twelve. I you can see that on the it's too much light. Yeah, this clock's about fifteen minutes slow, but fifteen twenty-seven it's slow. Let's go back to the northwest. We should be able to get LQL in Cleveland and some other ones up to the north, and Detroit and things like that. There's a V something. I'm 
VQ at 231. There's a carrier, it means... HKU? Yeah, HKU, or HKF. 243, that's pretty loud. OZW. YZE. GS I think this is LQL here coming up. Nope. DD Delta Delta two fifty seven ORJ That's all QL. About three ash inside of the noise. Two sixty four, we should get some. Oh, this is the this is the other side of LQL. ZHM TII TII, that's a new one for me. Oh, we should get uh, a Canadian here. Oh, this is UCP's carrier. About S8 on the northwest antenna. And then up here at uh, 272.4 is the Canadian. QA. DG. ADG. A 
I think that's ADG again. Yep, that's the other side down. And some of the differential GPS stations. Have to switch to the southwest here to grab uh, VV and Connellsville. So we can hear that. And come over here. Actually, there's another station. <laughs> Pretty dramatic. It went from nothing to right there. It went from nothing to like S5. That was cool. that Cumberland, Maryland up here at 17 or 21, something like that. There's a carrier. I think that's the carrier for Cumberland. Yeah, CBE. To go back to the north. I know it says northeast there, but that's these are really reversed because of the way I have them wired right now. I used to only have one EWE antenna up, and I put a second one up, and kind of changes the nature of everything. There we go. AK. Akron. CQD. I'm not sure. CMP. I think there's two there. So oh, I gotta do something else here too. This I'm way up past 300 kilohertz to uh, change filters. I have them. This filter here goes to uh, the bottom of the AM band. Some. Okay. Probably missed a few. TSO. Oh, my, my uh, camera's telling me I'm running low on batteries, so I'm going to wind this up here. But anyway, that's a daytime run of what I hear for NDBs at WA3TTS. 7-3. Uh,